Supplement is said to be a $152 billion market, okay? Most of the provinces here to give you a better health outcome. A lot of people, you know, trust these companies to give them supplements that, you know, give them a better health performance, right? But the truth is, most of them don't give you what you actually bargain for. And this is not to say that there are no good ones, okay, but most of them are just mere promises. You know, you buy them and you're not sure of what you're buying. Now, in this video, we'll be sharing with you five supplements that you should never think of using or buying, right? Now, the essence of this video is to give you a guide on what you should look out for when you want to take supplements. Even before meeting your doctor, you already know if you're going for that supplement or you're going for this supplement. All right. Now, welcome to Dietitian Review. My name is Dietitian Fiji and welcome to Nutrition Life official YouTube channel. Now, on this channel, what we do is to share with you evidence-based nutrition information that helps you live a healthy life. Now, if you've not subscribed to this channel, I'd like you to click on that subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you'll be able to know when we release our subsequent videos. Okay, welcome to Dietitian Review. One of the supplements that you should never buy is weight loss supplement. Now, a study in 2021 looked at about 315 reviews on clinical trials okay and these reviews found out that there was no significant weight loss amongst participants who took weight loss supplements okay and for the few of them that claimed that there was weight loss okay it was discovered that a good number of them had to keep taking those supplements for a sustained weight loss to happen okay now this is why it's not sustainable for you to make use of this because most of the people that take them it didn't work for them in the past and for the few that claim it worked they had to keep taking them over a sustainable period of time maybe for a lifetime for them to sustain the weight that they said they lost i know that weight loss is a very difficult thing for a lot of people because it involves some discipline in your dietary lifestyle and your overall lifestyle okay now if it's something that you're finding difficult and you have the resources to go through bariatric surgery or to pay through a surgery to remove your fat now this is very expensive i must say okay but if you know that this is what you can afford you can look for the best you know people that do this surgery okay in order to remove your fat through surgery it's something that is doable even though it's expensive and it can be very, very painful from what I have heard. So it's something that you can, alternative option, rather than take, you know, those supplements, weight loss supplements, you know, with the aim of losing that weight. It's not going to happen, okay? Weight loss does not happen with supplements. It's that you do the tough job of using your dietary lifestyle or overall, you know, lifestyle change. Okay? And that entails that you stop sedentary lifestyle and then eat, you know, healthy food. Okay, but if you cannot do this, then you have the wherewithal to go through the surgery, then it's an option. Just look for somebody who has a track record. Though it's risky, but look for somebody who has a track record of success in it, and then you can go for that. Now, the best way to lose weight remains dietary management okay dietary and lifestyle changes okay when you take those gradual steps it may not be drastic steps just you can make them gradual steps you know change in dietary habits and then change in overall lifestyle it will help you to lose a good number of weight over a sustainable period of time so you don't need to kill yourself with those supplements you know you don't need to spend a fortune for you to lose weight with supplements that virtually don't work. Remember, if you've not subscribed to this channel and you're getting value from this video, I'd like you to click on that subscription button, 
click on that notification bell so that you'll be able to know when we release our subsequent videos. The next point is that we all know that supplements are not regulated by your country's main regulatory body. For instance, in the United States, the FDA does not regulate supplements. And in Nigeria, which is my home country, the NAFTAC don't regulate, you know, supplements. And this is a challenge because people don't know what is contained in this supplement. So you need to know what is even inside the supplement for you to be sure of what exactly you're taking. So this is a major challenge, okay? So that's why it's essential for you to talk to your dietitian, talk to your doctor before you start taking any of these supplements. Third party certifications are kind of regulations, okay, or things that authenticates, you know, the validity of some supplements. Now, if you don't find any of these logos showing on your screen right now on that supplement, just know that you shouldn't take the supplement. Like I said earlier, your country's main regulatory bodies, they don't take care of supplements. They don't, you know, regulate these supplements. So when you don't find any of these third party, you know, logos on these supplements, just know that there is a question mark on that supplement. And so you shouldn't take it. Now look at those logos again and find out if you can see them on that your supplement product before taking them. The next supplements that you shouldn't take are supplements that interfere with your medications. For instance, if you're taking supplements of vitamin K, now we know that um, vitamin K is a blood thinning nutrient, right? And so when you're taking them and you're taking a blood clotting drug or medication like warfarin, both of them will interfere in what we call nutrient drug interaction. Now, nutrient drug interaction is a situation where nutrients and drug interfere in the functions of each other, thereby counteracting each other's effects in the body. So that's why you shouldn't take supplements that you know counteract the effect of your normal medication that you are on already. That's why you need to talk to your professional, right? Now you see the need why professional is important it's because your efforts can be in futility if you take these supplements in isolation without knowing you know which nutrients you know interact or counteract the effect of your normal medications. So these are things the professional will let you know. And that's why you need to talk to them. Caffeine supplement is the next supplement that you shouldn't take. Now caffeine is a very powerful substance. Okay that you find in our tea, you find it in coffee, and it has a very strong, you know, um, effect on our health generally. But the truth is, the caffeine supplement contains more than 20 times what you have in your tea or in your coffee, all right? Now, as a supplement, you have a lot of caffeine in that. So that's why it's very risky to take caffeine supplements. And Overdose of caffeine have been discovered to have a very strong detrimental health effect. You know, for people who have hypertension or heart disease, you know, for overdose of caffeine intake have been predisposed for these people. And it's not a healthy thing for you to abuse, you know, caffeine. And because the caffeine supplement contains a lot of caffeine in them, so this is why you don't need to take them, okay? You don't need to take caffeine supplements. So avoid your caffeine supplements. You can make do with your coffee and your tea. And for those of you that are addicted to coffee, I would say that sometimes you make do with decaffeinated coffee, especially if you have a heart disease or you have hypertension. It's very essential because caffeine has been discovered to have a detrimental health effect for people who have heart disease or hypertension. The final one is high dose supplements. Now there's what is called upper limit, okay? A lot of nutrients are vital for your daily body functioning, okay? But you need to discover the upper limit for each of these nutrients so that you know the quantity that you need to take, okay? A lot of people are just going about abusing this supplement and taking high dose supplements in the name of looking for nutrients that will help their body to function better. Now, you need to know that 
each nutrient has its upper limit and if you abuse it there will be accumulation or concentration of these nutrients in your blood which can lead to adverse health effects okay that's why you don't need to abuse any of this nutrient especially for you know fat soluble vitamins okay that's vitamin a d e and k and then for heavy metals such as iron copper and zinc now these heavy metals and these fat soluble vitamins you must ensure that you don't take high doses of them okay try as much as possible to take you know the upper limit okay or less than the upper limit don't take more than that upper limit that is required for you to take because it's going to be detrimental to your health okay now if you've not subscribed to this channel i'd like you to click on that subscription button click on that notification bell so that you'll be able to know when we release our subsequent videos okay now this is where we draw the curtain on this episode of dietitian review i hope you got some value if you're also interested for a dietitian who is going to be your accountability partner to help you go through that weight loss journey you know without so much of the burden on you you know to make those gradual changes it doesn't need to be stressful it doesn't need to be tedious it's just a gradual change you know over a long period of time and this will help you lose some good amount of weight over some period of time now if you need a dietitian to hold you by your hand and lead you through this journey as your accountability partner you can go through you know the link of my whatsapp you know to connect with me i can actually be your guide on that okay connect with me through the link on my whatsapp on the description for my through my whatsapp and then we can talk about that okay so you don't have issues if you want to do it my diet i'm here for you remember to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so that you'll be able to know when we release our subsequent video thank you for listening and bye for now i'll see you next time